buried it. Feels like a good, oh yeah, it's a, oh, that's a good one. What is going on y'all? I'm back with another video doing one of my favorite things to do in spring and that is fishing for crappie in shallow water on structure. All wood because that's what crappie usually spawn in so fishing brush piles and fallen trees and logs pretty much anything that's in the water like I'm coming up on these trees over here and uh, caught some nice fish on these trees about a week ago. Uh, the weather's been pretty rough and I've had to work, so I haven't been able to get back out here. So we're gonna find out if these fish are still in here. Uh, the method I'm using today is just, uh, method I'm using today is just slip corking. See right here, I've got my float right here. I like to use a really small float when I'm crappie fishing just more sensitive and they feel less resistance. And this is just rigged up with my bobber stop. I just use braid and tie it in a uni knot around my line because that's the easiest thing to do. Most of the uh, bobber stops that you buy in the store are just a rip off because you can just use braid and accomplish the same thing for a lot cheaper. So that's what I like to do. Um, I'm just gonna put up through here Forgot to mention I am on Weiss Lake today, one of uh, the most famous crappie lakes in the country. Super blessed to live pretty close to Weiss, so get to fish. So I get to fish out here quite a bit, but I'm gonna get rigged up and everything and hopefully we can start catching some fish. I'm gonna start about a foot and a half, two foot deep and see what happens. So see what we got. Oh, got a couple dead minnows down here. I'm gonna get those out. It's one thing you always want to do because those dead ones being in the water will kill the rest of your fish. So keep the dead ones out. I got paid for four dozen, but that looks like a lot more than four dozen. So I'm not complaining. I'm just going straight up through the bottom lip on these guys. Got a little size four Aberdeen hook. And we're gonna pitch it right in that's not really where i wanted to go so one thing when you're doing this you want to be as close in on the structure as you can get without getting hung up like that was better but it's still not quite where i wanted it um but yeah just kind of fishing slow it's one thing people will get in a rush when they're crappie fishing and I used to do that and it does not pay off. You're always better off moving slow, find the fish and stay on them so you don't catch any more. Usually just pitch it in a spot right off the brush, let it sit there for 30 seconds to a minute and then cast it into a different spot because doing this, the goal is to get it right on top of the crappie. There's one <laughs> little large mouth. Not what we're after, but we will take it. Thought that fish built a bit a little weird. 
little baby largy. Let's grab us another minnow. Buried it. Feels like a good, oh yeah, it's a slab. It's pulling drag. Oh, that's a good crappie. <laughs> it's one of the reasons I love using this light rod on these big ones up shallow. Oh yeah, that's a great fish. Get away from this dock. It's big old Weiss Lake white crappie. Exactly what we came here to catch. Slab daddy. Oh, don't even have to measure this one. He's going straight in the box. Give him a poor man's live well filled up. There we go. It's one in the cooler. That's what I'm talking about. See if we can get up here and do that again. One thing about that fish I just caught, see it's right here on this side of the dock that's shaded. And that's pretty common for crappie fishing. They like to be in the shade, especially on sunny days. Now today for the most part is cloudy, but every now and then it gets pretty bright. And seem to always do better in the darkest spots of structure. When you're fishing a dock like this, you want to try to get your lure in everywhere that you can cast. Because a lot of times those fish will just pick one of these pilings to sit on and that's where they'll stay for most of the time. And you can get them to come out and feed off of them a little bit, but that was weird. I think my minnow's acting funky. But you can get them to come out off of the pylons a little bit to feed, but most of the time they'll pick one and stay right on it. I'd like to pull out another one of them big ones off of this dock right here before I move on. Just gonna let that minner do its thing for a second. There he is. Big old black crappie. Nice. Man, look at the colors on that fish. Wow. If I can get a hand on him. That's a pretty fish right there. Check that out. It's gorgeous. So we're up to three species now. We got white crappie, black crappie, and largemouth. Don't have to measure that old boy. He's a keeper for sure. Let's get another minnow on here and get rigged up. Should have brought my bow. There's a big buffalo carp swimming right there. You guys probably can't see him. It's a really dark colored one. Dang still there if I had my bow I could smoke that thing I should know by now to always bring it with me usually do just didn't today there's fish little fella it's another black crappie though it 
It was worth it. Feels like a good one. Oh yeah, it's a good one. That's a good one, buddy. Oh yeah, come on, come on, come on, come on. Heck yes, that's what I'm talking about. Another tank. Pretty fish. There's a fish. Just a tiny, tiny one. You guys think, think I need to measure him? Oh, that's a good one. I mean, a good one. Might be the best fish of the day. Ooh, that's a giant. Oh my gosh, what a crappie. Holy smokes, look at the size of that fish. I hope it stays hooked. Oh, <laughs> oh good grief. <laughs> look at that, it's hooked right in the tongue, literally. That's crazy. I'm trying to get out of this tree. I've probably already screwed it up, but it was worth it for that one. Golly, what a fish, man. That's a daggum good one. That's the one we're after right there. Whew. That's why you fish Weiss Lake, folks. Yeah, that's definitely the biggest one of the day. Another good one, folks. Oh, that's a black crappie. Boat flip that one. Pretty sure that's a keeper, but we're gonna double check. Ah. Quit that. Oh yeah. Definitely a keeper. You're not the one, little fella. One thing that's important that I'm doing is I'm waiting for that float to just really go down before I set the hook. Unless if I know that it's really shallow and they're pulling it, you know, side to side. But when you're fishing with like that right there, oh, that's a slab. Yes, sir. Like that right there, I let that float get pretty buried before I set the hook. And that ensures that that fish definitely has it in his mouth and that you're gonna get a good hook set on him. Oh yeah, it's definitely a keeper. Fat fish there, full eggs. I'm putting together some fish here now. Okay screwed this tree up really honestly i got hung up in here after i caught that big one and i should have broke it off but i'm pretty sure this is the only slip float that i have left and i did not want to lose it so i just kind of risked it and came in here right there i just had another peck see how he's pulling it there now it's down little one just came off 
wrap me in that tree. Man, they're stacked right there on that. I'll tell you what might've happened is there's two trees right here and what might have happened is there's two trees right here and i might have spooked these fish off of this tree and pushed them back there to that one <laughs> minnows pulling that float around <laughs> So unfortunately the GoPro died yesterday while I was fishing. So that's why the trip got cut a little bit short on the video side of things. I ended up leaving with 12 or 13 nice fish. So put together a nice meal for me and the wife. That's the main thing right there. Just getting out and uh, putting some food on the table and having a great time while I'm doing it. Um, but hopefully you guys got the gist of what I was doing. Just slip corking around any type of shallow woody structure I could find up through that creek. Right now is the best time of year to do it, uh, especially in the northern states. We're getting towards uh, really kind of the end of it. There'll probably be some fish spawning through mid-April, but up like a little bit north, Tennessee, Kentucky, it's about to start getting really good. So you guys need to get out there, start trying it out, see what you can catch. The only way to find them is to get off the couch and go do it. So you guys get out there. Hope you enjoyed the video. Go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe if you don't care. Really appreciate you guys. And if there's any other type of fishing that you guys want to see, drop it in the comments. I'm starting to get back in the fishing side of the channel. So hopefully we'll have a pretty good year for that. Bow fishing is really about to start cranking up. So we should have some bow fishing videos coming. And turkey season opens on Saturday here in Georgia. So super excited for that i love springtime it's one of the best times of the year for an outdoorsman fishing is the best and turkey season gets started up so we will see you guys in the next video